BU, constitutional silver, junk silver? That statement seems like a huge contradiction. Silver Steeler and winning image photography here. Hi, everyone. So I bought these rolls about a year ago. It was really some of my first major purchases when I started collecting silver. And uh, I got a roll of Morgans for 350 bucks, and then two 1963 Denver Franklins for 150 bucks each. And then this one, Philadelphia one, I got $140 because I had bought a lot that day. And these these two items here in front of you, the Morgans and the Franklins, happen to be my first two videos that were actually done December of last year, and I had to rip my whole YouTube channel apart because uh, the music wasn't right, people didn't like it, and got a lot of complaints. So I sort of like did a relaunch of the channel. The videos were originally shot where I work at with bad lighting and everything else, and I've always wanted to come back and do these coins a little bit better justice. So... With the new lighting kit that I had gotten and everything else, I just wanted to show these. It was an entire tube. Like I said, he had given it to us for 350 bucks. Look at those. They just shine one right after another. I mean, just beautiful. Now, I know they're 21s. I know they're Phillies. Those things are a dime a dozen. But... To have 20 just like that, that's about all I need. I don't need any more 21 Morgans, but I could not help the price. You liked them a lot, didn't you? Yeah. I, I'm, I mean, they're just 21s, though. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to go through and showcase some of these, and also the question of, do you consider this constitutional silver, junk silver, or brilliant uncirculated, which it is. All of these are brilliant uncirculated. But I'll throw them sometimes in what I think constitutional silver. But I'm like a lot of the others out there. Even though I have a couple other videos labeled junk silver. I'm becoming less and less of a fan of the term junk silver. It doesn't offend me. But I don't really think any silver is really junk, is it? I mean, I get the term, but. So there's the Morgans. Oh, she just love that sound. Not when they're brilliant, uncirculated. <laughs> but the Franklins, much the same way. I mean, those things just shine too. They're right, just beautiful. I think a lot of these have full bell lines on the back. Get that a little bit better. Look at him just shine. Each and every single one of these are just blazers. Just a beautiful coin. All of them. So, yeah, there's a, another roll right there. Over those Denvers. And here's another roll of Denvers. I mean, much the same way in another video. Where it seemed like all these were rolling off the assembly line right after another scooped up and put somewhere and just never, never, ever used. You know, I think they were just born right after one another. Just strike after strike on those. Just gorgeous. So, you know, to me, yeah, it's constitutional silver. But these are all BU specimens. I could probably have all these graded, but why would I? And there's the Phillies. Denver tended to do bolder strikes in the Phillies is what my coin dealer had said to me. So that's why I got two rolls of the Denvers and only got a roll of the Phillies. He had one of those, what they've been calling them guard, guard house boxes. He had one of these guard house boxes just filled with Kennedy. And they were all 1963s, whether they be Philly Benji. or Denver. Yeah, Benji's, my bad. But yeah, they were gorgeous and i could only really afford at the time three rolls a lot of them have full band lines full bell lines bell lines but you, you, it's going to be hard to see on a yeah back a little bit more 
His fingers in the way. That's gorgeous. So anyway, we don't uh, like to use the term junk silver, especially when it comes to looking like this. They're beautiful. Anyway, Winning Image and I are going to end this video. Remember to like, subscribe. And all those other good things. I'll see you in the next video.